Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Chemistry. Today we are learning proximate analysis of fuel. As the name suggests, it is a proximal analysis. It includes quantitative determination of percentage moisture, percentage volatile matter, percentage ash and percentage of carbon. In this method, we determine approximate values of all these contents. Let us see the significance of all these contents with respect to fuel. In case of percentage moisture, higher the percentage of moisture, lower is the calorific value. The capacity of any fuel is considered from its calorific value and as the percentage of moisture increases, the calorific value decreases. It also increases the cost of transport and considerable amount of heat is lost in the evaporation of the water. Then volatile matter is nothing but the toxic gases which are present in the fuel. Higher the value of toxic gases, it causes smoke, long flames and decreases the calorific value of the fuel. Some percentage of ash is also present in all types of fuels. So higher the content of ash, it decreases the calorific value as the ash is incombustible matter. The calorific value of any fuel is decided from the percentage of carbon present in the fuel. So higher the percentage of carbon, higher is the calorific value of fuel. So because of all this significance, the determination of all these contents is very important with respect to fuel. Let us study the first content that is determination of moisture. For the moisture content, we use silica crucible. Why we use silica crucible? Because the melting point of silica is around 2000 degrees Celsius or maybe more than that. So it is stable for the temperature at which we are going to carry out the analysis. About 1 gram of powdered coal is weighed into the silica crucible. Then it is placed without lid in an electric hot air oven maintained at 110 degrees Celsius for 1 hour. As we know that the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, so at this temperature all the moisture is lost from the fuel. After 1 hour, the crucible is taken out from the oven and kept in the open air for cooling. Once the cooling is done, then it is kept in the desiccator. The desiccator consists of anhydrous calcium chloride which absorbs the moisture which is absorbed during the cooling. The loss in weight is calculated by the formula loss in weight of coal sample upon weight of coal taken into 100. So at around 110 degrees Celsius, we have calculated the loss in weight due to moisture. Now the same crucible is used for the determination of volatile matter. For the determination of volatile matter, the same crucible is then covered with a lid and placed in a muffle furnace and this muffle furnace is maintained at around 925 degrees Celsius. So the crucible is kept in this muffle furnace for exactly 7 minutes. Why we use with lead? Because we want to lose only the toxic gases and not the other content of the fuel. At 925 degrees Celsius, all the toxic gases are lost from the gap between the lead and the crucible in the 7 minutes. We have to remember that the crucible that we have taken is the same that we have used for the determination of moisture. We have not taken the separate fuel for the determination of volatile matter, the same crucible we have used. After 7 minutes, the crucible is taken out from the muffle furnace and it is kept for cooling in open air for some times, then kept in the desiccator and the loss in weight is again calculated by the formula loss in weight at 925 degrees Celsius upon weight of coal taken into 100. So by using this formula, we can calculate the percentage of volatile matter present in the fuel. For the determination of ash, again the crucible is placed without lid in muffle furnace at around 700 degrees Celsius for half an hour. Why we have kept without lid? Because we want to calculate only the ash and we want to lose all other contents of fuel which are present other than the ash. As ash is incombustible matter, the whatever the residue will be remaining is the weight of ash. After half an hour, the crucible is again taken out from the muffle furnace kept in the open air for some time for cooling and then it is kept in the desiccator to absorb the moisture and finally the weight is calculated by the formula weight of the residue in the crucible upon weight of the coal taken into 100. So in this way percentage of ash is calculated. Now percentage of carbon is very easy. Whatever remaining is the carbon 
therefore 100 minus all the other contents that is moisture volatile matter and ash will give us the percentage of fixed carbon let us summarize the things percentage of moisture was calculated without lead in o1 at 110 degree celsius for 1 hour percentage volatile matter was calculated with lead in muffle furnace at 925 degree celsius for 7 minutes ash was calculated without lead in muffle furnace itself at 700 degree celsius for half an hour and percentage of carbon was calculated by subtracting the three now let us understand the concept by taking one example which is a very important numerical with respect to exam a coal sample was analyzed as follows exactly 2.5 gram was weighed into silica crucible after heating for one hour at 110 degree celsius the residue weighed 2.415 gram the crucible was then covered with a vented lid and strongly heated for exactly 7 minutes at 950 degrees celsius the residue weighed 1.528 gram the crucible was then heated without cover at 700 degrees celsius until a constant weight was obtained the last residue was found to weigh 0.245 gram calculate the percentage results of above analysis for the determination of percentage moisture weight of coal taken is 2.5 gram as we have seen in the data mass of moisture will be 2.5 minus 2.415 that is 0.085 gram and percentage of moisture is calculated by writing the formula loss in weight of coal sample upon weight of coal taken into 100 as we have seen earlier so the percentage of moisture is calculated as 3.4 percent now we know that for the volatile matter we have used the same crucible so percentage of volatile matter will be determined as follows mass of volatile matter will be 2.415 minus 1.528 and not 2.5 minus 1.528 as we have seen earlier that the same crucible was used for the determination of volatile matter so the difference is 0.887 and the percentage volatile matter is calculated by using the formula loss in weight due to volatile matter upon weight of coal taken into 100 and is calculated as 35.48 percent for the determination of ash content the same crucible was used again the mass of residue was 0.245 gram here we have to focus on only on the mass of residue so the language of the problem is very important in the problem itself it was told clearly that the mass of residue left is 0.245 gram so we don't have to subtract this from the earlier weights percentage of ash is calculated by weight of ash left upon weight of coal taken into 100 and it's calculated as 9.8 percent the determination of carbon is 100 minus other three contents so it is calculated as 51.32 percent and we are done with the proximate analysis this is one numerical for practice Thanks for watching. If you like, click subscribe for more such videos.